SportsNola.com. It's our first NBC weekend preview. Lenny Van Gilder, Jude Young, pinch hitting for Ken Trahan, who we're slowly getting back from off the disabled list. And Jude, a, a key weekend for on the college front for both Tulane and LSU. Tulane's still trying to get in the win column. LSU looking to kind of reverse the tide, so to speak, after uh, a loss to Florida. Let's start with the Tigers welcoming an undefeated and third-ranked South Carolina team into Tiger Stadium Saturday night. Well, it's quite the challenge for a team that's offensively challenged. You look at what South Carolina is bringing into Tiger Stadium. First of all, it's a great deal of confidence, but more importantly, it's a talented football team on both sides of the football. The offense is balanced and clicking for the Gamecocks, and the defense, particularly the front four, extremely talented. This is a very difficult matchup for the Tigers. And uh, the real question is, what adjustments can be made, either in personnel or strategy, to find a way to generate some offense? Right now, I'm not sure, and I'm sure a lot of Tiger fans are wondering as well, if the offensive staff and head coach Les Miles have any answers. And it's going to be intriguing to see if LSU can essentially save their season. You can be a one-loss team in the SEC and keep all of your dreams alive, including BCS championship game hopes but if you lose two games and lose two in a row at this point in the season we don't know how this team's going to react or how bad things can get I mentioned that uh, last Saturday here on the site is that you know the next four games LSU could come out of them anywhere between nine and one and five and five so you know it's a tough stretch with four teams that have a combined one loss coming up and you're talking about you know the chance to really go south in a hurry unless Les Miles and company can can right the ship starting with this Saturday. Different story for Tulane. They are 0-5, but seemingly on a bit of an uptick with a starting backfield back together in Ryan Griffin and Orleans Stark as they head into a Saturday noon kickoff at the Dome against SMU. I think the important thing is for Tulane to be able to continue to build upon the little bit of a running game comparatively that they had at ULL versus what they had previously during the season before that. When you're averaging 20 yards rushing a game, you're not going to beat people unless Geno Smith and company or the rest of your offense. Speaking, of course, about the explosive passing game with West Virginia. Tulane doesn't have that, but having Griffin back and the balance and the steady leadership he brings as a multi-year starter, as a senior, definitely helps his team. Darkwa, clearly the best running back of some decent talent on the roster. A guy who can pound out extra yardage. Maybe give them more second and third and manageable. It's just a chance perhaps to see a bit more of a confidence builder. And uh, on the opposite side, I think Tulane's defense will be challenged with that young secondary against a June Jones passing game, but it's going to be an issue of ball control for Tulane, grinding out some first downs, giving their defense a chance, and see if you can be in it in the fourth quarter. That's, that's something Tulane hasn't been able to do yet this year. Can they be in it in the fourth quarter? They're at home, so we'll see. Confidence building is the key for Tulane, and maybe they can take some positives from last week's game and carry them over into this Conference USA contest. Yeah, seven in a row in Conference USA remaining for Tulane, just like seven in a row in the SEC left, or actually six in a row in the SEC left for LSU at this point. Uh, some other college football of note, WHNO Channel 20 has the Southland Conference Game of the Week, Saturday, 3 o'clock. The surprise leaders of the Southland, the Southeastern Lions at home against Northwestern State, a, a chance to go 3-0 and in the league for Ron Roberts Club. We'll see how that plays out. And again, you could see it on Channel 20, Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Shifting gears to high school football now, another huge weekend. We're in the seventh week of the season. WHNO will have a game Saturday morning at 9. It will be the re-air of John Curtis and Newman, the Patriots, number one in the nation still. Newman likely without Jay Tyler in this game, and that will be a tough task for them. Probably the best game on the card comes Saturday night at Yenny Rummel and West Jeff in a, in a key game in that district. Rummel looking to preserve its number one ranking in 5A. And Rummel really looking like a team. That we know they've been to the Dome recently for a chance to win a state title. This Raiders team looks like a balanced team on both sides of the ball that has a real opportunity to make a run, a legitimate number one team in the top class in the state. Looking at the matchup against West Jeff, people thought before the season these two would be the two that would battle it out for the district title. Of course, Jesuits undefeated, and they'll have something to say about that. But the key in this game is simply for West Jeff, can they find a way to get some stops uh, on defense. Their defense has not been good enough 
particularly going in to face a team like Rummel, Damian Williams at quarterback in a great running game. It's going to be awfully difficult for the Buccaneers. Rummel should be able to score oftentimes at will and get enough stops to get a big district victory and put themselves in the driver's seat to match up later in the season against Jesuit and what will be a hugely anticipated game. By the way, we'll have that game on Channel 20 coming up later in October as part of our first NBC Bank Prep Showcase. Catch all the action Friday night with Ken Trahan's original prep football report. You can watch it streaming right here at sportsnola.com or, of course, listen affiliates throughout the state, including WGSO 990 AM in New Orleans. No Saints we talk about because the Saints have a bye week. Obviously, lots of other action going on in the National Football League. The Saints will be back on the practice field come Monday as they begin preparations for a game a week from Sunday against Tampa Bay. Jude, terrific job as always, filling in for Ken. We will see you on Monday as we recap the weekend. This has been our First NBC Bank Weekend Preview. Sponsored by First NBC Bank locations all over southeast Louisiana. We thank them for their support of SportsNOLA.com. See you Monday.